Prince Harry and Meghan Markle released a new photo of their daughter, Lilibet Diana, for her first birthday. And the little one already shares some similarities to her great-grandmother, Queen Elizabeth. In the photo released by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex on Monday, Lily is smiling as she looks off to the side rocking a light blue dress and bow on her head. Her left arm is fully exposed as she sits on the grass. Queen Elizabeth rocked a similar pose for a photo she took when she was one in 1927. In the black and white snap, the queen is also wearing a dress as she smiles and poses to the side. And it appears Lily has inherited Harry's trademark red hair too. In the new snap, the young royal is sporting a full head of red hair, just like her dad. The photo was taken by Miss Son Harriman during a quote, casual intimate backyard picnic at Frogmore Cottage to celebrate her birthday on Saturday. Miss Son also released some more fun photos from the birthday on Twitter, including a black and white snap where the former Suits actress holds Lilibet and beams for the camera at the party. Megan rocks wide-legged striped trousers and a long sleeve shirt for the occasion, finishing off the look with her hair styled down and with natural chic glam. The couple was in the United Kingdom with Lilibet and their three-year-old son Archie to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee weekend, commemorating her historic 70 years on the British throne. The visit marked Lily's first time meeting her great-grandmother, whom she is named after. The trip also marked Meghan's first time to London in two years, following her and Harry's decision to step down as senior working royals and move to California. During their visit, they made two public appearances, one on Thursday for Trooping the Color and another on Friday for a Thanksgiving service in honor of Queen Elizabeth. The pair skipped Saturday and Sunday's events and reportedly returned home to California on Sunday. Access Hollywood previously spoke with DailyMail.com's Charlie Langston about how the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are perceived in the UK after leaving to live across the pond. I think the shock of Mexit has definitely worn off. I think the general feeling now among people in the UK is almost a kind of not knowing what will happen next. I think Meghan and Harry have continued to prove that they will throw curveballs at every available opportunity, whether that's an Oprah interview that kind of devastates the royal family or whether it's an appearance on Ellen where, you know, Meghan is kind of playing the fool in a silly prank. Um, so the shock, yes, definitely worn off, but the apprehension is still there. I don't think anyone knows what they're going to do next. And that's still means there's a little bit of fear within the royal family, especially, you know, they're kind of, they've almost become like the Thomas Markle. You know, there was a time where no one knew what Thomas Markle was going to say next, what he was going to do next, what TV show he was going to appear on next. And I think Harry and Meghan have now kind of prompted that same feeling in the UK and especially within the royal family. And I can imagine that behind closed doors, Buckingham Palace's most senior advisors are still very nervous about what the two of them could say next. We obviously know that Harry is planning on writing a book and there is a huge amount of fear about what might be written in those pages. So we just have to wait and see.